Okay, folks, I'm playing Bane again. I like Bane. <laughs> right, fighting Nightwing. Always dash back. Always, always dash back. Because this is exactly the reason to dash back. It's so fast, you can't tell. So, I need to use my my special moves more, I think. I think this is before I actually knew Bane as much. Um, but still, okay, finally I've got a bit of peace. So, just get out of the corner. And now, hopefully, I can sort of use these things. Good. Okay, oh wow. That's three projectiles, so you can't just charge through that with one venom. Okay, so now he's got I've got out of that little bit of loop and I can't believe that missed. I, I seem to have it a bit easier when I get out of his normal loop. Um because I'm not too sure which one's which to be honest. Okay, you can go through that with venom. So I should do. Oh wow, wake up. Okay, I need to use more venom, stick a venom on, press down, back, triangle please. I'm dying here. Okay. Now ah, there we go. Had some armor on that. Didn't get hit though, but Okay. I hate it when it runs out and you don't want it to. During the cutscene and such. Okay, I can't really charge through that. That's got that sort of bit of a glitch thing or properties where uh, you can't immune through that with your free venom. Okay, I'm surprised I got that. Because normally his ultra is terrible for whiffing, it always does. Okay. Oh, okay. Spamming that, which is fine. Just gotta block it, but I don't he's got an overhead <laughs> somewhere. Okay, so I'm I'm pretty low. And I think he starts taunting now, yeah, look at that. So sod it, I'm going for him, and I'm gonna try to win. Um because he's a taunter. And we don't like that here. We don't like that. So another thing and there we go. Have that you Spammy taunter man. Okay, so I felt good about doing that, and because um, that's the first time I've had anyone dance to me, so to speak, and um, I didn't like it. No, sir, I don't like it. Okay, so now we're on to Superman, and generally I've seen Supermen <laughs> be a bit more popular online, and they have improved. They generally have combos, as you can see here. He's going to put me into a combo and already into a stage transition, so this is going to do a lot of damage. I don't think I'm anti-venom, I'm not sure. But, yeah, the class of Superman has definitely gone up. Um, he seems like a very powerful character. Um, mainly, I have trouble with him because he's got his like laser vision thing, and he can EX it whenever he wants, so he can do it so high up that my charge misses, so I'm a bit at his mercy to, you know, if I hit him or not. Um, that was probably a smart move to just chip me down there. So stick... No, ran out of Venom. Okay, so you got to block up for his, his EX one as well, which is a bit annoying. And he can actually hit you from behind his head. Now, also, something else that I've seen a lot of Supermen do is they've sort of adopted this technique. A lot of them have, and I don't know why. I'm not blocking that overhead. But it's sort of like they do that air dash that he's got, and they use it to cross you up and float down and hit you. And in this game, it's pretty difficult to, to stop, to block and sort of deal with really. Um, I know for a fact, um, after fighting a recent one, is that he's stuck on his trait, which you know makes him more powerful. And I know for a fact that gets through your Venom armor cleanly for some reason. So that is pretty, pretty bad really. Um, so he's just going to keep zapping me. And that's going to get through my, my charge armor there, you might have saw. Which I didn't know at the time, so I was just really confused about that, that particular thing. Um, but, yeah, if you charge past him, he can still do his EX and hit you behind his head. Which is really annoying. But um, we'll go again. He's going to probably do that dash thing. There we go, to cross up. And it's, it is pretty difficult to sort of deal with. I adopted, after a while, to do my, my uppercut type move. Where I rise into the air. So another thing I noticed is after he's done two crouching light punch pokes, he always jumps, so I punished that, and that he doesn't seem to ever block up. So that's why I did three low into overheads in a row, because he never seems to block up. And there you go, same sort of thing happened, I didn't react to it though. He did uh, two low pokes into a jump, so... And then he did a crossover thing, that that technique which all supermen seem to do now, and it's, it's quite effective, generally. It's pretty hard to sort of deal with if I was, didn't have that charge. I mean, I can't anti-air grab them because 
it crosses you up and it confuses you a bit. So I'm surprised I actually managed to survive that. I think I may have a three venom, so I'm invincible. And I try and make use of that as soon as possible. Just use the three venom. Because as soon as he hits me with any chip damage, I'm dead. And that's what he was going to try and do. And so when you're doing that, I don't. I think there is a way to avoid it. Jumping will avoid it. But if he tagged you with his uh, laser beam, he can always do his EX, which you have to stand up for. And I prefer to just block it. There's not much else I can think of doing. It'll get through my, my armor, I believe. But this is the pressure I want. I've, I've got the option to go for that. Yes. I really like this sort of stage transition. Not with other characters, but with Bane, it really looks good. I like it. Look at that. That looks sweet. Anyway, with Bane, I love that stage transition. But with people like Green Arrow or um, Aquaman, it looks a bit shit. Or Harley Quinn, for example. Okay, so I'm going to fight this bat uh, Superman again. Same sort of thing. Is he going to jump up, try and cross me up and do stuff? Oh, jump. That's nice. Okay, he's going to try and use the pig, is he? The dreaded pig. Okay, so we've got to stop him use that pig. Use it myself, if possible. Again, that cross-up thing. I was doing something at the time. Trying to anti-air grab him, I believe. Oh, okay. Again. Oh, he didn't use the pig. So, okay, good. Now, I might do another grab. I might go for the pig. I've got level 3 venom. And it does go on to um, interactables. So, it's very useful because you'll get like, I don't know, 40% or something, 30% for a level 3 interactable, which is really good. Um, just for throwing out and hitting him with it while you've got 3 venom. Now, some I'm actually checking for the guide that I'm going to do. Uh, I'm doing the Solomon Grundy one first because I said I would, but afterwards I'm going to do the Bane one. And one thing I wanted to check was whether his venom goes on to his clashes. So if you're anti-venom and they clash, and you sort of win and so they do extra damage to you. I think they may do extra extra damage to you because you're anti-venom. Okay, I need to wager that. I used it all. Okay, you probably used it max as well. Uh, I needed to win basically. Okay. So I'm finding it difficult to get up to him. That's a thing to do with his Superman. He can do that. Um, okay. Oh, I missed him. Is this... Okay, is this... That's to do with his sort of his ability to float about and do his laser beams that I find okay, that's gonna be the end of it. Yeah, his laser beams are a lot more difficult than other um characters, projectiles, I find, because he can e exit and two hit me out of my charge. And it's it's not quite as hard as Black Adam though, because that gets through my immunity thing. I think already spoke about that, I had a little moan. Okay, so we switch to Batman. So we'll go for Batman. Batman, I do find quite difficult if they're really good at using those particular trait bats. If he's really good at using those, then he is a very difficult character to fight. Because you basically have to start blocking properly. Okay, I use them all. I don't think it'll reach, but it stops him using them. Okay. Now... This guy doesn't seem to be doing it, but Batman can parry your your charge, which is, if he does it once, then it's going to be so annoying, because that means you can't charge him at all, really, unless you're really close and he's not expecting it. Okay, he's trying to do mix up. I should be doing the, the low into overhead, because he's always blocking low, so I should switch it up and start doing that more often, even if I have to do it three or four times in a row. Okay, stop jumping at me. Okay, overhead, good. Might do it again. Nope. Okay, fine. I got him anyway. And another grab. Don't EX it unless you're going to kill them. That's basically the rule. To begin, most of his EX specials are rubbish. Um, you pretty much only want to EX the, the charge. And that's just for more damage. And it gives you the most damage out of all of them, I believe. Apart from if you've got three Venom and you want to kill them and you just think the extra damage will do it. Okay, low overhead because he's, he's constantly ducking. Okay, see, I, I was still walking the wrong way. I was walking forward. Okay, because he gets into a big combo and he knows a good combo here. Okay, he got into his, um, his trait and I'm going for the overheads all the time. 
Uh, like I said, his trait goes for armor, so I just get really sort of screwed a bit. I guess that's what other characters feel like, who are not Bane. Although they may have natural armor, I'm not sure. Don't think many characters do. Oh, good overhead, block that. And I jump because he did two low pokes, and that's normally the rule for this guy. Okay, back off, because I don't think that will reach you. You can make it reach, because it does actually depend on where you grab the vehicle yourself. You can grab it at the end, and um, it will be miles away. But if you grab it at the front, then you're more likely to actually hit them when they're in the corner. So it's good to actually get yourself positioned if they're trying to hide in the corner away from it. Okay, so that one goes full screen, so I'm going to do the same. At the end of the... I think I was going to do the same. Yeah, it reaches further if you hit it from quite later on, if you know what I mean. Yeah, you know what I mean. Okay, there is a new king. Oh, I'm in, I'm in Endless now, am I? Or King of the Hill. Same guy, though. He quit and then sort of invited me here. Try for some straight away. You can punish that. It's pretty, pretty easy to punish. Okay, he's trying to do that, that sort of dash thing again. Okay, gonna use that. Pretty much got him. Gonna have to rush up to him. Did the uppercut. I thought he might go for that interactable. So he's not gonna use it. I'm gonna use it. Making a lot of use of those interactables. And uh, just a grab. It's not the best damage, but he's probably just crouching. I didn't have to guess there, for example. Uh, whether it's going to be overhead. He really doesn't block up too much. See, look, he's blocking down, so I can go into a combo. You can't really get into a stage transition with Bane. Even if you do the bounce cancel, it's pretty difficult. Uh, notice I did the overhead uh, ground bounce, which isn't the stage transition, because he's always blocking low, you see? I thought he would block my um, my attempt to get stage transition, so I thought I'd just go for more damage. Okay, level three. Gonna go for another grab? Yes, okay. Some characters get, can get out of that with their certain moves. Harley Quinn, for example, if she goes into the tantrum stance, it completely avoids your command grab. And a lot of other things do. Back triangle on all characters nearly will avoid command grabs. Amazing. Well, Bane's anyway. I don't know about anyone else's. So thank you for watching those, and I hope you enjoyed them.